Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing, uh... I wanted to check something, actually, since I was here. Hey there, everyone. It's Alcal playing Banjo-Tooie. And, uh, look at that. Okay, so we got... There's Treach, Cheat, and there's another Globo somewhere here. But here's the thing. We've got all the moves, and that was the important thing to get here in this land of death and agony. However, I mean, I did open two doors. And I think it'd be silly not to at least take a look before moving on to the next place. Like, it'd be good to know why we need to return to a place to use a future tool, right? So yeah, like, like I said, so we are entirely in position to get out of here and do stuff elsewhere. But it is also not necessary. Might as well look around here, there's another one of you. Prison compound. Uh, yeah, and you say letters. Uh, that is accurate. Oh, then there's two soldiers here suddenly. Roll attack! Wow, I did that. Okay, so what else is going on here? So we got water. I guess I'm starting with the water? I guess so. Alright, I can barely see... There you go. Swimming in this... Man, my water meter does not look very big. Looks, in fact, pretty small. I don't know. Alright, here's the room with the totem! Big old tower. And another big old rock so there is no way to bring the Goliath here. So I won't panic too much about that. I mean, I'm gonna be real. I know the solution to this. And I, I know I don't have it. Uh, what do you say? Only a stony can understand what another stony speaks. Well, thanks for spelling it out there, Jam Jar. Although now I wonder, like... Can you do? Oh, there's a honeycomb in the grass. That's fun. Because, like, you go here and you're like, alright, can I go all the way there? No. I mean, I can do that. And you won't even grip at the top of that. Unfortunately, time sneeze. There's a big chance and I forget to edit it out, so. My apologies in advance. Alright, so, yeah, no, yeah, so, big block there, big circle there, we need the force of a mighty goliath kick in order to shatter it. And, uh, that's probably why there is one A, water, and two, a tiny tunnel in the water. So that we can't just, like, oh, there's a little thing here. Warp zone! And also a sign with things to say. Trespassers in the quicksand are liable to be eaten. Yeah, so that's the thing we went in as a... Um... Can I do this to go through? No! Okay, all right. Because there's a thing over there, we can see it. It's right there. Not there, it's there. Oh, there's wa wadding boots on the other side. All right, well, that tells us what we have to do. Hello there, little gopher. I would love to do that. I just don't know how. Here's passwords. I just I just did that. I, uh, I want to just do whatever. I'm sure there's going to be an indication somewhere of what it means. What a mighty swing you have there, buddy. You're the best. Keep over... No, you can't grip all the way up here. I'm playing flashback now. Uh, okay, so here's the path where we grip, oh man. I was said in the comment that the game is... This is too early game to be considered a key, and I understand what you're putting down, but sure. Because it is kind of early game. You get do get this early. So fair enough. All right, so I'm thinking there's one path here and there's one path there. This is the here path. This is only called the here path because it's the one I took first. And it leads in this exciting cave. Hey, here's a page. Oh, wait a second. Is that not, are we not in the, that's something I wanted. Yeah, this is the pillar room with the rocks. So yeah, there's a jiggy up there. I am pretty darn gosh sure that I cannot make it there, but I'm gonna try. 
Eh. Eh. I mean, it's so close, too. It's tantalizingly close. I would have kept trying, except because this is not blind, I know better. We have to use whatever method exists to get rid of that rock. I, I'm, I'm just saying it outright. There is no mystery to be found there. Only cold, hard facts. All right, but we've got to go on the other side, and, uh, so we will do that. Because, yeah, like, the Flutter Jump does go pretty far, but just not, like, infinitely far. So check it out, we're gonna hang on to here. Whoa, here we go, look at that, it's a dangling bear. It's a bear that dangles. But there's the boots. There's somehow, like, on all the way on top here. Okay, you press duck to get out of climbing. I do that all the time, too. And you cross over and look at that cat. It's pretty great. You can barely jump. Is it not the whole duck to uh, cancel a shoe? I guess not. All right, hey, check out the jiggy. It is now mine. And then we can keep on going. Whoa, 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 whoa. In the the walk across the mud and die. Okay, there you go. It's uh, I press ducking and attack, and that uh, turn off the boots, like in real life. And I say that too often. It's not even funny. All right, now we're gonna go in the other door. Did I see a pair of eyeballs? No, it was just the skulls. The skull design, which do look like face. And a human brain loves seeing itself a human face. It's, wow! I recognize that. Maybe it's a friend. Or a foe. I mean, the brain just does that constantly. You cannot stop the brain from doing that. Sometimes the brain to stay quiet. But it will not happen. This cave is nicely lit in orange because of the torches, probably. Wow. Right, there's another work pattern. That's exciting. All right, here's a guy I can't speak to. Here's another set of stairs. I'm not feeling ready to go into this tent. Oh, that's a, uh, we heard that giggle before. It's this thing, Globo. But yeah, uh, I'm not ready. Going in a tent might be a thing. I'm not gonna take any chances. I just wanna make sure I explore here get an idea of what's going on everywhere because this just keeps going it's pretty big so that's the door I kicked in as a robot uh, a giant statue that is moving on its own is basically a robot so there is the mud I ran across the quicksand rather doesn't look to be anything else there but we do have an info sign a warning Ridiculous. Okay, so same thing. Got it. It's the same technology at play. This is that no one's gonna say a golden statue, what it can or cannot do. What is up here? Whoa! It's an up. It's not that exciting, I'm sorry. There's a page there. Oh, that's exciting a little bit. Can I... Okay, well, if there's the little pistachio brothers, I'm assuming I can do that. Yeah, these are this enemy is the pistachio brother. Obviously, I'm sure everyone knew exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> okay, that's gonna put my page total to four, right? And it's five until yeah, it's five until you get a thing. So, but I mean, that's done. We got another page, and that's all the pages here. Yeah, where are we standing in terms of stuff in this place? There's a honeycomb I'm missing, four jiggies. I know where one of the jiggies are. So there you go. End of statement. <laughs> um, and there's probably something in the building that here that is open and the building that needs to be open in the other door. I know where the last hexagon is, it's just, you know. It's in an uncomfortably small area. Camera will not turn here. Oh, I know why. Because I'm not pressing the camera turn button. This is the exact same puzzle as uh, the, the, the caveman. I 
thought nothing, actually. Where do you go to jump up there? I mean, what if we just kind of all stayed here dramatically? Okay. I guess he can't sleep if it's holding the thing in his mouth. But, like, all I did was, like... Yeah, like, that's enough to wake him up. Uh, is there, like, a ledge on the side I can go on? It doesn't look like it. What if I don't climb into a big jump? No, that is no good. Whoops. Yeah, like, I don't know how I would start this, unless there's a ledge up there that does not have grass on the side here. There's a place without grass. All right, let's practice our tippy toes. I'm tipping. Yeah, there's a difference between walking casually and tippy toe. And it is absurd. How is that? Why did you stop, Banjo? Can I do... Uh, uh, uh. Well, that might get me further than... Dude, just reach over! possible. Okay, and uh, now he is not waking up. I don't know why, but I appreciate it. That is very, like, picky, though, about the speed you go to. Like, wow. <laughs> All those words that mean the same thing. Exploding out of my head. Code chamber. Oh. I think I remember this. This is the okay, yeah, where you activate my cheat. It's the it's the sandcastle floor. Um, do we have like a jiggy to get here though? This isn't any use to you as you haven't earned any of my cheats. Okay. Wow. Uh, do you get a thing if you get this started? You must spell out the cheat code I have given you. Which I don't have right now. The letters are just whatever. Do you give me a sample code to try? Give me a jiggy. Okay, no code starts with J. I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to do any of them. Like, even if you know them, like, from, like, before. That's my I'm pressing the wrong button. It's a lot of fun. Okay, and here's another entrance. So there's the code door that I don't know what to do about yet. That I was hoping for some reason would be here, but... No, that's not the case. Um, you know what? Yeah, like just looking at my stats here, viewing the total locally. Hexagon, I need to be small. Well, okay, I know how to do the, like, the caveman one is probably the same as this, right? Wrong button. Like, it's probably also just be very, very quiet. It's just that the game is kind of silly about that. No portals in front of it, I don't think. I forget, actually. Yeah, I did. Oh, I should have flied. It would have been faster. Well, I can always... 
I don't think you can play around, but I think you have to play him there. So, same idea as with the snake. You just gotta, like, barely. That's too much. Jesus, hell. Nah, it works. It's just... completely absurd how just... Very, 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 very picky it is about your speed. Like, this is like the minimum amount speed you can go. I cannot recall a game, any other game, that requires you to just go so slow. Alright, and here at least you get a lot of space. Hey, look at that. Oh, now we got a hoof it. That is a massive thing. It's a good thing Banjo literally has the strength of a bear. <laughs> I don't know if bears have a lot of lifting strength, though. Like, they got a lot of striking strength. I don't know. Is it possible? Like, yeah, it would be possible to measure lift. I just, how do you convince a bear to do the test? That was the better question. Thing that leads me back. Yeah, so we're back here. I just need to make sure I see the exit. Oh, it was right on top of the exit. Look at that. I didn't notice there was a door on top there. I probably never looked on top there. That would explain that, probably. And here we are. I don't have to leave it uh, leave it lifted anymore. Unless I... Unless going back here was a mistake. We. I slid down. Alright, I found a way to collect it later. <laughs> I love me a relic thingy. Thieving? I don't know how he went across the door when the switch is on this side. Look at that. Breaking that poor fourth wall. See, by a jiggy, he means just his little jiggy swing. No, he means, he means one of those. And it appeared before I was done with my sentence. Oh, he's mad, right? Oh, he is very upset. Okay. Uh, if you're showing this, is it because there's gonna be something opening up somewhere? He is heading in that direction. There was a door there, right? I feel like if there was a door, it would have, like, actually shown up. I don't know. Have a jiggy for me. Wah hey indeed. That's just literally bogey sound. Alright, I feel like I need to recheck in there real quick to see if anything opened up, but I feel like it would have shown it. But let's be thorough, and next time we're gonna see that tent. And, uh, whoops. You are very well ambushed. I'm the one that's ambushed. You're very well hidden. Uh, yeah, next time we're gonna see that tent, and... I mean, we'll see what it leads to. Um, the major area left to explore is inside the door where you need a code that I don't want to brute force. And yeah, there's the hexagon that I don't... Like, it's... You need a transformation, basically. A transformation that Mumbo does not provide. I'm assuming there's gonna be a Jiggy inside, uh, like I said, the code door. Like, not for the code room, but the other one. The door that needs a code. Uh, uh, and the uh, leftover Jiggy is the one that I need to bust a uh, door for, a uh, boulder for. So basically, we, we, we did it. We have completed almost all of World 1 minus one Jiggy. More than I expected, but like, I don't know, man. Like, I opened the doors today, and I was like, well, I have to check those out. Now I can go here and do all the noise I want. It's the best. Except I feel like they're doing less noise now. Oh. So, there's a system in place for them to reach and press that button or whatever that is not available to bear nor birds. Fair enough! Yeah, there's also the room where there's, a uh, paths we've never seen, and there's a thing with, like, 420 notes that you need. 
I'm not ready for 120. So next time, we're going camping.